Hi there, and thanks for coming to visit my photo gallery. Just want to give you a few hints on navigating your way around. First, you'll notice uh, up at the center of the page, here at the top, it tells you how many photos are in the gallery. And originally, they're divided up into short pages. I find it most convincing, convenient to click the Show All button, and then you can just scroll down quickly through them and see all of them at once. You have the option of enlarging the photos. If you want to see a larger version, you can click on any one photo and it'll give you a slightly larger version that you can then um, use your left and right arrow keys to browse through the photos either after it or before it. Or if you click on the photo a second time, it gives you an even larger version. And again, the right arrow key will advance, the left arrow key goes back. So, from that, uh, you should be able to uh, see them as easily as possible. Clicking the Escape button will take you back to the original page with the thumbnails above and the photo below. Now, uh, to get back to the original page, click on the name of the gallery itself, and it takes you back to the original page with the thumbnails. From here, you can download individual pictures, a group of pictures, or all the pictures. Now to download photos, it's simple a matter of clicking on the photo that you're interested in downloading. And you'll see above that photo there's a download drop down with original, all available originals, or multiple sizes of smaller web ready photos. Typically the original photos are only downloadable if uh, you've been if you've purchased the uh, rights to the photo. So if you have you'll have a password and when you click on download original the box will pop up for that password. Um, if you want to download one of the smaller sizes uh, you can pick that size and download it, and it will typically uh, be watermarked. By clicking on that size, you'll be taken to a Save As window, and you can decide where you want to save them on your hard drive. Click the Save button, and that individual photo will download. If you're interested in downloading all the originals, um, you would then click the All Available Original button, for example, if you want to work with these photos later on your own hard drive, instead of coming back to the web each time, that would probably be the reason to do it. Most of the originals in my photo galleries are going to be between 3 and 7 meg each, so multiply that by the number of photos in the collection, and you'll get an idea of the download size that you're getting. If you want to do just selected photos in high res, uh, you want to click on the gallery, go back to the front page, then click Select Photos. And now as you go through each photo that you click, you'll notice uh, we'll come up with a, a little selection arrow or a selection check mark here. So if I wanted to download, let's say, these four photos only, I would select them, go back up to the top, and then click Download and again put in my password, click the download link, and you would get just those four photos, not the entire gallery. Once you're done doing your individual selections, click the cancel button. And now, if we select an individual photo by clicking on it, get to our larger thumbnail, you'll notice there's a menu when I mouse over the upper left hand corner of the page. From here you can buy and also share. Um, the buy button will allow you to pick from a number of uh, things that can be ordered with that particular photo. You can order uh, prints and enlargements, um, actually wall size uh, frameable art, greeting cards with the picture, all sorts of things, t-shirts, etc. So, um, as you click on each of those, there'll be further drop-down menus giving you more specifics on the sizes, colors, etc. And each of them are shown with the price. 
you can also share the photo either from the share button here or from that drop down by clicking on share you're now given the option to share with Facebook, Twitter, all the popular social media sites as well as email and you can choose from sharing the photo, sharing the entire gallery or a slideshow of all the photos in the gallery. So that's basically it. Um, when you're all done, um, you can um, hopefully get everything you need from this gallery. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to drop me a line and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks very much for watching.